Hey, what's up, guys? Totally dubbed here, and today I'm flashing over Wanam Light uh, by XDA member Wanam. Uh, this is uh, version 1.4, based on uh, XXALF6. Uh, as you can see over here, I'm on Omega ROM, uh, which is based on LF6 as well. It's V6.0, and um, I'm gonna go straight into recovery and flash the ROM. If you don't have recovery, you have to go up home and uh, power uh, after having um, obviously flashed over um, a clockwork recovery I've got a guide for that so you guys can check that out so what I'm going to do is wipe all data and factory reset then I'm going to wipe cache partition and then I'm going to wipe Dalvik And then I'm going to go install zip from SD card, choose zip from internal SD card, and here you can go. I've got several uh, files. I've got the 15 toggle, I've got Samsung apps, I've got the stock uh, toggles, and I've got the 1.4 no wipe. As you can see, I've obviously done a full wipe, but obviously, if you're coming from diff um, different versions of one of them, then it should just flash without any wipe, um, so it wouldn't wipe any of your. Uh, files and whatnot. So um, just letting the phone uh, install the ROM shouldn't take too long. Right, so now we can go back and reboot system now. Right, so the phone's just booted up. I'll just go through setup. Right, so the phone has uh, booted up. As you can see. LF6, it's got a stock kernel inside, and as you can see, it is based on Wanam Lite 1.4. And let's see the apps that are included Clockwork Manager, and the default Samsung apps. We've got Quick Panel, Hide on Jage, Widget Buttons. So here are the widgets, as you can see, very nice indeed. So we can customize them. So widget buttons, let's just get rid of these just to show you. And there you go, as you can see. And if I want to change the order, so you can see Wi Fi is up top. And there you go. So that's really nice. We've got, uh, we can customize the widgets, and we've got Super SU built in, which is good. voice and everything. We got a camera there, which there you go. So you got you can see you've got the HyperX camera in there. There you go. Working as intended. You've also got the ability to change your CSC. Um, CSC is quite good for changing um, if you if you got some carrier problems, for example. And to do that, you do star H two seven two star uh, with your IMEI number followed by H. So um, once you do that, you'll get this. I've got a guide on that uh, already on my uh, stock uh, flashing to stock guide. But as you can see, here are the different CSCs that you get. And there are quite a lot included. And BTU is the one that came with my phone, so I'm going to hit install. And when you hit install, what it do normally does is factory resets your phone and obviously reboots it while it's at it. As you can see, the phone is rebooted and it has been factory resetted. As you can see, I'll have to sign in again. And there you go, so now the phone's booted up, and I'll just show you how to go into the CSC thing. Star H272, star IEMI number, and then after you've got the number, hit star. 
uh, sorry H and as you can see now it's changed to BTU so I hope you've enjoyed this guide um, and yeah please do rate, comment and subscribe thank you very much for watching guys totally dubbed out, bye bye